One of the options a winemaker may have during the winemaking process is to leave the wine aging on the lees. So what are the lees and what benefits do they add to the wine? In today's video, we're going to take a look. Hello and welcome to the Grape Explorer where we celebrate the world of wine. On this channel we do wine education, product reviews and lots of tastings. So if you're interested in wine, consider subscribing. Now there are lots of different methods that can take place during the winemaking process and one of those is to age the wine on the lees. So what are lees? Well, lees are the dead yeast cells that have been left over from fermentation. As the yeast has been feeding on the sugars in the grape and converting it to alcohol, those yeast cells die away. And actually for white wines, they can really add a lot of structure, texture and body and some interesting flavours to the wine as well. So in the case of something like a white wine, uh, the ageing of the lees can contribute kind of um, yeasty flavours to the wine, things like bread and biscuit. Um, and anything else, slightly creamier texture to the wine as well. And so what I've done is I've gone out and got a bottle of wine that has been aged on the lees and I really think this is probably a classic example of that. Uh, this wine is from uh, Muscadet, it's a Melon Blanc or a Melon de Bourgogne grape and in the particular case of this bottle it's um, badged as Muscadet Sevrier Man uh, Sur Lee, which means on the lees. And in the case of Muscadet Surly wines, they will have aged on the lees over the winter period following the harvest. Um, and actually there's very little interaction uh, from the producers to the wines, they're just left there to stay. Now some producers do like to stir the lees uh, in the vessel that's being used to mature the wine. It's a process called batonnage. And so again, this comes down to wine making choices. Some producers are going to just want those dead yeast cells to settle at the bottom of the vessel where the wine is maturing. And some are going to want to stir that up and add even more texture and flavour. So in the case of Sir Lee, this has been left alone pretty much over the winter on its lees. So let's give this one a taste and see how we get on. Okay, so the wine that we're looking at here, the Muscadet, is a pale lemon in colour. Before swirling it on the uh, aroma intensity, I'd say this is probably about a medium, maybe a medium plus. We'll give it a swirl and we'll see what flavours we can pick out. So I'm going to try and pick out some of those primary fruit flavours first. Wow, that's really lovely. It's, um, there is some, it's a lot of lemon in there, green apple in there, but actually I'm starting to get some stone fruit as well. Um, for me, there's kind of like a peachy quality to the wine, which is, which is really delicious on the nose. I'm going to give it a try for some of those secondary aromas and see if I can pick up on any of that Lee's ageing. In the case of this particular wine, it, it is faint, but uh, there is something there. It's almost like a sponge in the background, but it, but it is particular, particularly faint. I actually think that the fruit is dominating this. It's a really, really uh, nice nose on this one. Okay, so let's give it a taste. It's got a really great acidity. The wine is, is, is bone dry. That acidity is really staying with me. It's, it's really left a lovely watering sensation in my mouth. Um, the alcohol is, I would say, medium. The body of the wine is where I'm really uh, noticing um, some texture. Um, there's definitely a kind of medium to medium plus body on this one. It's got a lovely taste of lemons on there. And that body is making it feel kind of well-rounded. There's a great mouth feel with this particular wine. Definitely something to enjoy. I actually only spent seven pounds on this, so I'm, I'm really pleased that um, it's tasting as well as it is. Um, it's really enjoyable. It's got a good finish as well. And the acidity is absolutely fantastic. I personally prefer very high acid wines. I really like that sensation of, of a wine cutting right across my palate. It feels really cleansing, really refreshing. And I think this is, this is absolutely the sort of thing that I would enjoy with some seafood. I would definitely enjoy it if I was at the seaside.
And the flavors are quite intense as well. That citrus fruit really hangs around and I think that's why the acidity is so good. So, you know, overall, if we're looking to judge this one, everything is in balance. You know, there's nothing that's um, too, too harsh uh, in this particular wine. It's got an excellent length. I think it has got some intensity, not huge intensity, but some. And from a complexity point of view, I'm not getting the, the Lee's aging as, as much as I would have possibly hoped for. But I have to say overall, I think this is a very good wine for seven pounds and, and definitely one that I would recommend people look out for. So over to you, do you have any recommendations for any wines you've enjoyed that have been subject to Lee's aging? Uh, any other types of varietals? I know that some Albarinos and Chardonnays also go through Lee's aging processes. Let me know in the comments section below. I'm the Grape Explorer and I look forward to tasting with you again soon. Cheers.